name is uh, Tommy Davis. I am the president of the Africa Business Angel Network, an association of angel networks f across Africa. Historically, I used to be the head of IT research for Marks & Spencer, and I was with Ernst & Young uh, in e-commerce prior uh, to this. Personally, um, I am an angel investor myself. So I have a portfolio of African startups that I have invested in over the years and continue to invest in. Uh, they are doing well. We had our first major exit. We also teach masterclasses, uh, as I said, under ABAN to help local investors to understand things such as valuation, term sheets, and other aspects of angel investing. Uh, in addition to that, I speak at conferences like this one to help people understand angel investing. I believe the future of Africa is very promising when you consider that of the 1.3 billion people on the continent, that nearly half of them are under the age of 25. And when you consider that nearly 60% of the world's arable land is on the continent, when you consider the fact that we have finally signed the African Continental Free Trade Agreement, um, these are all promising signs. And uh, the growth rate of the continent uh, at above 5% on average is really, really encouraging, especially when the forecast for the West is at less than 2%. If I had my choice, I'd just wipe all the African borders away. Um, but then you can't do that overnight. You can't get rid of the language overhead, French, English, Portuguese overnight. But these are things over time, okay, that will go away and we will revert to our traditional posturing of having the tribes and the groups, okay, and the cities become the center of the African economic crisis. The worst thing we can do is ad adopt Western uh, uh, styles. If you want Africa to be sustainably developed, then we have to take into consideration the cultural backgrounds and the cultural mores of the different aspects of Africa. Yes, there are over 3,000 tribes and over 2,000 languages, but we're going to need to reconcile that uh, with development. I do not personally have much confidence in the colonial creations that we call countries in Africa today. I mean, just take for example, uh, Gambia and Senegal, which are just the result of a difference between f the French and the English. Um, how can you have a situation where we have a union where Gambia with 2.2, 2.3, maybe 3 million people has exactly the same say as say uh, Kenya with 65 or 70 million people. Um, it is these inconsistencies that we're going to need to address in the long term.